so we're gonna do another video in my studio again today um, there isn't a whole lot of fishing going on right now um, well partly because I'm not too motivated the weather's not great we're getting closer to Christmas it's getting pretty busy around here but um, in the coming weeks I'm gonna be doing some ice fishing hopefully some winter still fishing if the river cooperates so I'm sure you'll be seeing some new episodes very very soon but today we're gonna be talking about rod holders um, Rod holders have two purposes, really. Um, one is to keep your rod stationary so you can actually see the bites on the rod tip. And the other one is just to prevent the rod from being lost in the water, like this. Hey guys, this is what we Oh no! Oh well, that was embarrassing. So let's talk about rod holders. Um, Scotty Fishing Products, based on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada, is they make fantastic boat accessories, um, including rod holders, downriggers, and um, I've been using them for many years on my boat. Um, they've had this particular one. This is a uh, spinning bait caster rod holder for many years now, and this one works pretty well. Um, if you so let's do some demonstration here so i'm going to put the rod holder in here so this particular one is very um it's commonly used for lake fishing um in boats so you can stick your let's say your bait cast uh bait casting set up in here and it's pretty secured so, and uh, when you get a bite you just pull this out and uh and you get a fish on you can also use this for spin casting as well um, so again, once again, you put it up down there and this particular area holds the rod um, But in this case the rod tends to go like that a little bit. So which is not that great I guess there's um, various ways you can do it, but it can but then you have this strap right here that can actually hold the rod down So it doesn't go anywhere But the disadvantage of this is that it takes a while to get this rod out um, same thing with the bait caster actually. So if you put this in here um, It you know, it takes a few seconds to you got to pull the rod forward and then strike right But that's great. You know what if you're trolling this will work fine because the fish is usually already on uh, The line when you pull the rod out. So there isn't any hook set involved. So that works fine um, but for the type of fishing that I do um, which often um, involves dropping the bait straight down uh, vertically down from the from the boat and just I'm waiting for the bites to happen um, so the bites that the fish don't hook themselves you tend to get these little nibbles and then you actually need to set the hook so if you in that case if you're doing that um, you know if you if you're getting a bite and you got to pull the rod out here that takes a couple seconds and then you set the hook by the time you do that um, the fish is already gone right I have done this with a spinning rod by doing it this way um, that can work pretty well but in this case the uh, the reel look how far away the reel is from me so it's fairly extended so you got to reach out and grab it like that and set it that way right so it's it's not um, it's great for some I guess some aspects but uh, for certain styles of fishing that, like I do, um, it doesn't work. And also fly fishing. You know, a lot of, a lot of times we fly fish in the boat. Um, this rod holder is not for uh, fly fishing rod and reel setup. Uh, there is a different fly rod holder for it. Um, but that particular one, it also involves a, a fairly lengthy process to get the rod out. So if you need to do an instant hook set, um, it doesn't work so well. Well, well, Scotty has come up with a solution for all of these, um, which is the new product that came out earlier this year, and this is the R5 rod holder. So let's take a look at this. I'm gonna put it back on the holder like that. And you know what, and this is just a little ice fishing setup I made, so I can mount the holder on here like that. And um, so you got two, you got this thing going on right here and um, there's two screws on the very top 
which you can actually adjust the tension of this wire so which um, you can make it you know make it loose so you can actually set the hook faster or you can make it tight to keep the rod really secured but either way the rod is pretty secured in there so let's let me show you how this works so let's start with this uh, the, with the fly rod actually so fly fishing um, tends to be pretty hands-on you're casting you fly casting a lot of times you're stripping and most of the time um, this rod is in your hand um, but occasionally if you let's say if you're fishing with an indicator and uh, indicator sitting out there stationary. You don't actually need to hold the rod. You want to put the rod down, but you don't want to put it in the boat. So you, in case you lose your rod like what I did, you want to put in the rod holder. So this is a good application. So you simply open this up like that and secure it like that, okay? So this top part is holding onto the rod so it doesn't go out and the and if you can you can pull it this way like that it just doesn't go out you can pull it down it doesn't it wouldn't come out and when you do need to set the hook you can simply lift the rod up like that see how fast that is it's like one or two seconds less than a second actually so go like that see you can just put it back in like that and i love this rubber uh tubing right here so it keeps your um it wouldn't scratch the rods inside wouldn't damage it so you just go like that yeah Super easy, right? The only thing I find with the fly rod is that because the reel is back here, um, if you are not fishing and you're racing a rod in here and you're driving from one spot to another one in the boat, um, this if the boat is rocking a little bit, this rod can slide back down that way. Um, it's not a huge problem. So in that case, I would just take the rod out and rest that rod inside the boat uh, while you're driving. Uh, but this is the best invention for steel water indicator fishing. So with a spinning rod, um, it's the same concept. You simply put it in like that, um, you know, like that, and it, the reel rests on the top, you know, on the side, and this rod wouldn't go anywhere. If you get a bite, if you're fishing vertically down, and the fish is pulling the line down, and it's gonna pull the rod downwards, and this is getting caught at the back end of the holder right so it doesn't it just wouldn't go anywhere it's very very secure if he's trying to pull forward it's not going to go anywhere and when you do get a bite you just simply lift it up and you set in the hook again like that okay so that works well for the spinning rod as well for the bait casting rod um you saw me fishing doing the deep water chronometer setup with the bait casting setup earlier this year so we have we got the uh, shimano Talora rod and the uh, Takoda reel. Oh, actually, no, this is the SLX XT uh, bay casting reel, and it fits perfectly in here like that. This, it's almost like this holder is designed for this particular setup, and I absolutely love it. Um, if you watch that video, um, we had the rod sitting in the holder securely, and uh, the fish was pulling the entire rod down, and this was not budging, it just wasn't moving anywhere, right? And every time that happened, I simply lift, you know, I can grab onto the reel and lift if I want, right? I can grab onto, I can grab onto the back and lift as well, either way, or the front like that, you know. It just comes out so easily when you, when you have to get it out, and it, but it does, it will never come out uh, when it, when the fish is pulling it. So, yeah, so that makes me feel a lot safer when I'm fishing the boat, so I don't end up doing what I did a few years ago. Well, there you have it. So the R5 rod holder made by Scotty Fishing Product. Um, I was, I've was i been very, very happy with this um, this year and uh, so looking forward to using these um, for the next lake fishing season. And I'm sure you will too if you get uh, one or two of, uh, of these holders. Um, if you have any other questions regarding this, or this row holder, or any of my boat fishing setup, please leave a comment on the bottom. I'm always happy to answer your questions, or if you have feedbacks or ideas, I'm always interested to hear what you have to say. So, and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, please do so, I really appreciate your support. There'll be many more videos to come. And until next time, good luck fishing. There we go, Rod. Double.
So it's a spot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See? See? We had to move. <laughs> 